Then we have the famous Ginza girls. This gets us to the so-called modern girls, Moga, Modangaru, uh, and those parades down the Ginza. This is a stunning print, but, uh, among other things, for its colors, Jim. Same artist as the uh, Casino Follies, Kawakami Simio, uh, who has this distinctive palette in his work. It, it's electric. And he doesn't pay too much attention to uh, exact rendering of human form either. This mm. is very abstract, very playful. I think the viewer gets the idea that maybe this, in one sense, ex expresses vibrancy, but in another sense, something that you shouldn't take too seriously. There's, if the colors tell you that something unreal is happening, mm. and you, your conclusions can follow from there, but it conveys excitement. It conveys the thrill of, of what this place is. This is 19, 1930, 1929. I like the only figure facing the other way is a woman in a kimono, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> very good point, very good point. Going back. And it's worth keeping in mind that figures like modern girls who probably foreground this particular image uh, in their one carrying a parasol, uh, was as much and perhaps more so of a media construct than uh, real people. There were, there were women who dressed in that way in Tokyo at the time, but would have been a tiny minority among the total population. But they loomed nonetheless far larger in people's imaginations and what people saw in glossy mm -hmm. magazines, mm -hmm. in film. Uh, and so there's a way in which there is an imagination of Tokyo that is taking over people's ideas of what it means to be modern or modern uh, in this case, uh, regardless of what the reality is on the ground. If you look at the picture carefully, the women have bobbed hair. Mm -hmm. And that was a real big sensation, the modern girl who cuts her hair in a bob. Absolutely. And one of the um, phrases attached to these women was the Clara Bow girl. And Clara Bow was a very popular Hollywood actress. Mm -hmm. She was a rage there. Um, sometimes they would call the counterpart male a Valentino boy, mm -hmm. which was Rudolph Valentino, the great romantic Hollywood mm -hmm. star. And the juxtaposition of the modern woman and the woman in kimono and traditional hairstyle, absolutely overwhelming in graphic arts of that period in commercial advertisement from stores, in posters like from Shiseido and so on, have both women uh, together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Without any kind of commentary on it, just look at what is happening here. Mm -hmm. We're becoming a cosmopolitan and more polyglot society. Mm -hmm.